the flag of Transnistria, more accurately known as Pridnestrovia. A flag which waves above this little, often unknown or outright unrecognized nation in the present day, yet which looks more at home amongst the flags of the USSR. But where did it come from? When the Soviet Union was collapsing in the early 1990s, the Moldavian SSR became the independent state of Moldova. But a region known as Transnistria didn't really like this, becoming an independent state in its own right, known as the Pridnestrovian Moldavian Republic. And as part of clinging to their old ways, they continued to fly the flag of the old MSSR which consisted of a red field, a green stripe in the center, and a hammer and sickle with a gold-trimmed red communist star in the canton. There are also two variant flags flown there today. One is this flag, but with the Soviet emblem removed, and this one, which is the same as the flag of Russia. Now, the Pridnestrovians having their symbols either be Russian or Soviet seems odd at first, until you realize that Russians actually make up a plurality of the population at 29.1%, with ethnic Romanians closely tailing them at 28.6%. And Ukrainians at 22.9%, Bulgarians at 2.4%, and then a few other groups being even smaller minorities. This is actually not that odd, as the Russian Empire and later Soviet Union exported a lot of ethnic Russians all over the territory. Just look at an ethnic map of Kazakhstan or Ukraine if you don't believe me. Being located in Eastern Europe, the Hammer and Sickle are not particularly popular. And being an unrecognized breakaway state means their sovereignty is pretty much always under some level of threat. And if Moldova reconquers it at some point, then this flag will go away. Which is a shame, as it is the very last flag to have the old Soviet symbols on it. Hopefully, Pridnestrovia and their flag will remain intact, but only time will tell. Have a flag you want me to cover? Leave a comment, and I might get around to it.